Good day. This will be our follow-up to the lecture on time that I gave you last week. Now, I know that seems sort of out of the blue, but I'm trying to give you scales and context for understanding really uh, overarching time coming all the way down to your specific uh, time. Now, as you'll recall, what I talked about last time is all there, all there is in times of a finite thing. It started 13.8 billion years ago at the, the Big Bang. So we have 13.8 billion years, and I said, well, how do you measure that? So what I did was I said, well, this screen is like, you know, 1,920 um, pixels across. So then I said, so what's one pixel? And what the, the way you figure that out is you take 13 mil billion, 800 million, and you divide it by 1,920. So now you know uh, every one of those pixels is just under uh, 8 million years. So we've gone from billions, this whole line here are billions of years, uh, in the solar system, if you divide that up into just one pixel, that pixel can be divided into thirds. And that pixel then means that this third represents about 2.5 million years, which it turns out is Im important because we go from billions to millions, and then that's, that's one order of scale. And then we've got all of human history I mean, all of human history, since we were, you know, since they first discovered a bone, a plate, and an artifact of us, it takes up about two and a half million years. So we see that here. But of that two and a half million, it turns out that we have only been really sentient in writing and keeping records for a very short period of that. So this whole section here, this is, you know, uh, this is most of the two and a half million years right here. Uh, and then, you know, they've, we have first human species at one million BC. You know, we learned to use fire. Then there's the beginning of agriculture and so on. But that whole section, uh, let's just set that aside, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to when we started uh, basically taking notes on ourselves. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this period completely. And now we're gonna just look at this section right here, which is the ancient age, which is 3000 BC, which is basically when we start knowing, uh, that when we start record keeping. Uh, up to, let's say, zero, okay? So the first 3,000 years. Now we're now, we've gone from millions to thousands. That first 1,000 years, it turns out, if we have this little scale here, and I have this little uh, ruler that has uh, 30 centimeters on it, well, the BC part is basically 30 centimeters if every centimeter equals 100 years. However, uh, what we'll notice is that we pull that out all the way, and now the ancient age then was most all that time. But so we're looking at 5,000 years all total. All right, so this last section is 2,000 years. That's from zero to 2024, of course. So that's 5,000 years. Now, I just want you to understand that scale. And these are temporal orders of magnitude is what they call it. Okay, so now you've got that. And I'm gonna go back and ask a couple questions. First of all, uh, how long is the, the entire shebang from the Big, Bo Big Bang till now. About how many million years is human history? Okay, and with that, we're getting up to written history here. And I just said, this is about 5,000 years, 3,000 years BC. And by the way, that's, we use as, as before Christ, but they actually started that. Uh, that time because um, in Rome they said oh the start of Rome was this year and then they went back from there and then they went forward from there so that's how they sort of invented the calendar and then um, as Christianity and Catholicism took over uh, they sort of re re reframed the year but it's still all very close to the same free information okay so let's move on so now we're at 5,000 years and let's go ahead and zoom in and American contemporary history we know that because you know uh, we know our country is over 200 years. That was 1776 to 1976. And now here it is 50 years later. So about 250 years. This is contemporary or American history. So on the scale, we're now down to hundreds of years. And let's look at the next step. Now let's think about basically the average human lifespan. My lifespan, your lifespan. It's about 80 years. So big picture, and not to alarm you, but this is just how humans work, we have a finite amount of time here. So I'm going to now transition to something else entirely, okay? And now I'm going to go from this, and here's the, the 80 years or whatever, and if we look at that human lifespan, I've got that, you've got that, uh, where are you in it right now? Well, I would imagine most of you, you know, are in this area right in here, okay? Somewhere uh, between 30 and uh, the late teens, okay? 
So that's the that, which means you already got done. Okay. So what are you going to do in college? Well, college is sort of cool because it gives you a, this next start. Well, what's the next point in my life? And that works a couple of ways. So say this is a, a standard uh, first, first half of someone's life, okay? And we all have this thing that happens, you know, the day we have our first word. It's a big deal to, to your parents. But really, every single family in town, their kid has had a first word. How big a deal is it, right? And I'm not trying to be smart about that, but that's the point I'm going to make is that's considered horizontal. The things that are happening simultaneously across the way, this family, this family, this family, this family, this family, this family, this family all had that experience with their, with their child. And so it's unique, but not unique horizontally. Okay, everyone starts school. Um, you know, in America, with few exceptions, unless you're homeschooled, which is also fine, you know, you're gonna be starting school. And then you're gonna go to junior high, at least in America, that's it. Um, and I know that this class is pretty much all people who've been raised in this system, so uh, I feel strong that that's appropriate. But junior high school, same thing. Everybody that you know, that was in your cohort did that horizontally going to junior high while interesting doesn't seem that interesting because it's common horizontally vertically it's fascinating because this happens to you this happens to you one time and this happens to you one time that's vertically this is as time passes and we've been talking about just that i'm getting to the point now here's another thing. You go to high school, uh, you get your driver's license. All of these things are common among, among your peers, but they're very unique to you. And then you have grad high school graduation. And now you're here. And I would argue that you have a certain amount of time to take care and prepare for the next section of your life, which is the idea of college, which is uh, fairly unique in human history and uh, and the way we do it now it's also sort of unique that you have this time from most often until you're 18 till you're like 22 or so that if you choose and you think that's a good path for you great well now if you already have a career path and you already know what you want to do and it does involve college also great there there isn't any a rule about that but if you've chosen this path I'm just gonna argue that what's gonna happen is as you go through college you're going to be have this first class you need to take, the second class you need to take, and, and, and you're going through this, and it, you know what happens? That's really important. It's important that you're doing that, and you're doing that well. However, what happens, the distraction is, uh, another thing that happens here is this class, everyone's taking this class, and maybe it's not interesting, but all these people are taking it, and it's all these different days, and horizontally it seems unimportant. Vertically, it is because if you don't pass this class, you don't get into the next class that's up the, up the pike vertically. So I'm going to argue that you need to be conscious of the fact that while you're taking ACA and it's, oh, this is, who needs this? Fair enough. But if you don't pass this, you don't get into that. All of this is, these are just all these, every one of these is a doorway. Okay, all these are doorways, and then if you need, if you're going to be coming, going to nursing, and you have to take a bio 111 or whatever anatomy is, well, that's a tough class because you have to memorize all this stuff. And you like, oh, one more class, who cares? Well, and you know, everyone else is going out and, and they're doing something fun on the weekend, and you need to do that too because it seems common. It's not. You've got to pass this class to go to this step. So, all of human history is 13.8 billion years. And then we have a sense of, you know, how long has our planet been our planet? Then how long has human has humanity been here? And then within that, you know, how long has our history been? And then we look, how long is your history? Well, we're here for just a moment. And if you can't spend four years, basically, or as long as it takes you, maybe two years, you can't spend two or four years basically using your ability, opportunity, and discipline, or addressing what we call this week the four Ps, you know, then I don't think you have an adequate understanding of basically the brevity of life, but the importance of your, ex, your experience here. That was a lot. We're coming into the last week right now. So um, with that said, um, go ahead and make sure you keep up this week 
And next week, it's going to be really terrific because I'm going to have you do one more piece where you sort of reflect on your life and you project where you're going with it. And then anybody who's not got an A in here, I'm going to give you a chance to do extra credit next week. And um, there's going to be a lot of it uh, available to you if you like. And I want everyone to catch up and have a terrific grade. You guys have been super this semester. And um, I look forward to seeing the last couple of weeks. You have a great day.